Passion for me is, is a lot deeper than just an idea. The things I'm passionate about, my wife, my kids, my, my profession, uh, that never goes away. Jesse Mills, I'm an international fly fishing guide, outdoor freelance photographer, videographer, and a full-time dad. Um, I never lose passion when it comes to the outdoors, and I think thinking about passion as a constant um, versus something that comes and goes, or something that we could turn on and turn off, um, has allowed me to be as versatile as I've been in my career whether it was guiding or filmmaking, um, and never having, never having a plan B. I think passion doesn't allow you a plan B, um, or it never did for me. Um, I, I see passion very much as an extension of myself. Um, I think it's God-given, uh, undoubtedly God-given. I think that's why every unique human has a unique passion. Um, I'd love to see a world where we could just all live out our passions and wake up every day and chase them down uh, instead of doing nine to fives. Um, I think if you could identify a passion, whether it's a, a, a activity or a skill, and, um, and become a professional at it, that's valuable in itself. Um, it's going to bring joy to your own self and ultimately bless you and bless the people around you. Uh, I don't know anybody that's chased a passion and regretted it. Um, even if it doesn't turn out right, that's the beautiful thing, is sometimes it's harder than the easy path. Sometimes the easy path is a nine to five. I could say my career has not been the easiest, but I've got more fulfillment in the last decade than, you know, I probably ever could have got doing some corporate work or uh, continuing to manage restaurants, for example. So. I think passion is just this, this underlying, really, expression of one's soul that's going to carry them through what I believe is, is God's plan for their life. Yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. There's nothing average about anything that I do. I don't even have a good annual schedule, to be completely honest. Year by year, I'm doing different things, but right now I'm set up uh, doing freelance media work, pretty much January through April. And then I'm guiding fly fishing in Montana and then guiding tarpon fishing in Costa Rica for the fall. And then hopefully I could narrow that down and, and smash repeat on it. Fishing for me is definitely what captivates me I kid you not, from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. And I don't care if, if it's involving filming fishing, guiding people fishing, or fishing myself. Every aspect and, and every part of the activity fits my character perfectly. And, and it's all I think about from, from the time I was a kid. And my dad taught me how to fish. It's all I've wanted to do. Fishing as a sport takes all of a human being. You can't do it passively, you know, unless you're sitting there throwing bait out, which isn't what I do. But if you're out there fly fishing, um, you have to be attentive to everything that's happening. What, what fish you're targeting, what they're eating, where they're feeding at. Um, so I love it because it just, it puts you in the moment. It doesn't let you think about the future or the past. You have to live in the present. And that's the best part about it because I think being present in, in the very moment is, is what life should be focused on.
for me, everything picked up after I made sort of a leap of faith, if you will, and moved me and my wife and, and started my family really in Costa Rica. Uh, and once we were down there, I was fishing with friends and, and the way social media works nowadays is we quickly started being asked, hey man, are you, are you guiding down there? And it never honestly occurred to me to guide there, but after so many people from Instagram and YouTube were asking, it became obvious that me and my buddies had to start a guiding company. And in doing so, we needed media to promote that. So everyone looked at me like, bro, you're, you know, you've at least used a camera before. Why don't you start doing that? I picked up a camera and really got serious with it for the first time and fell in love with it. I'm a creative person. I've, I've always been creative, uh, whether it was drawing or painting. So being able to pour all that creative energy into something that's fishing related and still highly creative just fit. And um, that led to freelance media opportunities and really got me to where I am now. Being able to work as a photographer and a, and a filmmaker in the outdoor industry really holds a special place in my heart because it's kind of allowed me to be able to immortalize some of these special moments, whether it's catching, you know, a trophy fish or whether it's going on uh, a backpacking adventure and climbing a specific mountain or um, even if it's with my clients, you know, if I'm guiding somebody and they catch, it could be their first trout. You know, and for me, it might not be a, a special fish to catch, but for them, it's this monumental moment. I could take a camera out and quickly give that person something to remember forever. Holy crap. Is that like a little blue, blue girl? Little pumpkin seed thing. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Um, there's literally videos that I watch from five, six years ago with my kids. Um, and we just sit back and look at these moments that we did or that we created. And um, that's the best part about it, is just taking these things that would have been memories and making them something that we could vividly relive. As a kid growing up, I was immediately drawn to being outdoors. Um, you know, it helped to live in a pretty rural environment and to have parents that said, you know, you're not gonna be inside watching TV. Um, so for me, getting outdoors is, is being home in a lot of ways. I, I don't like being indoors uh, at all. And I think the natural human being is meant to be outside, period. You're supposed to be in the sun, you're supposed to be in the elements too, whether it's sunshine or whether it's rain. Um, I enjoy it all, all the same, to be completely honest. As an international fly fishing guide and uh, you know an adventure filmmaker photographer, it's it's a blessing and a curse in a sense because there's nothing better than the anticipation of leaving on a on a big trip. Um, and for me, um, having two young boys, there's also nothing worse than having to leave on a big trip because it's a great example where two of my biggest passions, my family and my work collide and um, listen that's a balancing act that I don't think I'll ever get right I know even if I'm just going away for the day and my littlest boy Wyatt you know it's always Poppy where are you going and I say well I'm coming back and his, 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 his question to that answer is always when and sometimes I could say this afternoon and sometimes I have to say three weeks And for me, regardless of the time frame, none of those answers are easy. Chasing passion is chasing life, you know, for an individual. And I don't care if you're me or, or Joe Blow, this is true for everybody. Um, as human beings, I truly believe that we're 
our sole purpose is, is to give and to receive love. It's really hard to do that if you're not happy and content with yourself. It's hard to love yourself if you're not happy and content, let alone love other people. Is that to love in a meaningful way is going to require an acknowledgement of self and who you are. My boys are seven and two and a half, about to be three actually. So when I'm home, I'm home, you know, and it's, it's, it's full throttle, it's rough housing, it's sports. My oldest boy, Eli, now is in soccer and baseball and sports was something I did growing up. All my buddies did. So it's really cool to see him develop, you know, these skills that, that, that childhoods bring. Um, no doubt they love fishing. They love being outdoors with me, but it's also nice that my pro profession, I guess, doesn't have to dominate their life. You know, they are kids and, and they need to have that full rounded growth of being able to experience friends in, in multiple different scenarios. And, you know, playing, playing baseball in the backyard is probably our best thing. Other than that, I'm just squirting them with a hose, to be completely honest. And that seems to, uh, that seems to work really good. You know, my kids too, you know, when I'm home, I'm home, and and thankfully we don't have a television in my house. So that means two different things. It means there's no turning those kids off. Um, when you, when I'm home, all they want is to be with me and to play with me, and um, you know that's their right. I'm their dad, so making that time is is super super important to me. You know, I tell my kids every day, aside from telling them, you know, quizzing them and saying, hey, what's, you know, what's, what's your whole purpose of being alive? Uh, and they tell me, well, it's to love God and love people. And then we tell each other, with God, you can conquer everything. And I think that's where it all sits for me, man. Um, life isn't easy. There's going to be adversity. You're going to get hurt. But with God or with, with chasing your passion, which, which naturally passion should be transcendently oriented and bigger than yourself. Um, I think it all comes together if you, if you keep it, I guess, that complex and that simple at the same time. <laughs> but it's true. What up, nerd? <laughs>